Hi, my name is Richard Delaney. We're in the Blue Mountains of Australia. Just going to give a quick run through on how to set up uh, a lightweight gin pole for a lightweight backcountry technical rescue. First thing I need to do is identify where I want my edge, where I'm going to be operating, and come back a bit. And I'm going to get a rigging plate and I'm going to put it at the focal point of an anchor system that I'm going to construct. To construct my anchor system, I've got 50 metres of this is Sterling power cord. It's a six millimeter, 24 kilonewton uh, rope or cord, which is excellent for anchoring and guying. I'm just going to be careful how I lie that down. And I'm going to use this for all of the anchoring and guying for this system. I'll start with a figure of eight on a bite on one end of this cord. Once I've got that set and dressed, we need to set and dress these carefully because we're going to tension this system up significantly. We want to be able to get it undone. Now I'll get a carabiner and I'll attach it to my rigging plate and put one end into here. And now I'm going to run back to an anchor with this strand. So this strand here I've now taken back to an anchor point. That runs freely through the carabiner on that anchor point. And I'm now going to take a round turn around that carabiner and then tie that off with two half hitches around everything. One and two. Now I want to run back to a second anchor point. So I'll get another carabiner on here. And I'm going to start again using the same length of cord. I'm just going to leave myself a length in between so I've got room for adjustment. Another figure of eight on a bite. That figure of eight is also going to go into this carabiner. Now I'm going to run this all the way through to another anchor up the back there, which I've done. And again, it's just free running through the carabiner. And now I want to position position my anchor focal point and that's where I want it to be. So again, I'll open that carabiner and put two round turns in there and then tie that off with two half hitches. I'll just come closer to the camera just to show that tie off. So again, I come in, I take a complete round turn around the carabiner and then I'm going to put my two half hitches. One, And two. Now let's just check this in position. So there's my anchor focal point ready for a departure over the cliff there. If I do need to adjust something, again I can just unlock one of these half hitches, one of these anchor legs, pay some out there. There we go, that's moved it a little bit to this side. And again I'm going to tie that off with two half hitches. Now at this point, I'm going to clip each of those half hitches back into their carabiner because that is now my system anchor that I'm going to be working forwards of to do the rest of my setup. Okay, now I want to get my gin pole set up at the edge where I want it. Um, I have just pre-rigged a couple of edge points here. But what I'm going to do is I'm now going to start with the other end of my 50 meter length of power cord and I'm going to pass a figure of eight on a bite with a reasonably long loop up through a hole on the rigging plate there and then over the horn. And then I'm going to go down through my piece at the edge. I'll just get my lanyard adjusted to place here. I want my gin pole to sit here. And I want it to be in that position there. And having gone down to that piece at the edge, again I'm going to come up over the horn, up through the hole, up over the horn on the head of the pole, get the tension I want in that. I could probably even get that closer to the edge. I think that's, that'd be good there. Just give myself a little bit more. Come up over the top. And again, I'm going to tie that off with just two half hitches. On there. And then again, I'm going to isolate that with another figure of eight on a bite. Again, it just needs to be long enough to get up and over that horn when I come through a hole on the rigging plate. So I just give myself a little bit more length there. There's the length I need. I'll just get that dressed because again, when we tension these up, they can get a bit hard to undo. Uh, my position, I was going for about 
there that looks good and up and through a hole on the rigging plate down to my other piece at the edge at the forward edge and again get my tension set so I'm roughing this roughing this into where I want it and that's looking good there and again I'm going to tie that off with two half hitches So now that I've got my two front points set to the head of the pole, I want to come back to my rear anchor and tension the system up. So once I get the gin pole sitting in the place that I want it, and I've got a carabiner attached to the head, to the middle of the head, that's good there. I'm now going to hold tension on this and come back to my rear anchor. Pass that through a carabiner. Come forwards again through that same front carabiner. Now I want to get a little bit of tension on there. And finally, when I get back to this carabiner, I'm going to tie that off again with another round turn and two half hitches. Now I'm going to do a couple of vector pulls here just to really tension the system up. So the last strand coming into my carabiner just taking everything out of those knots standing the gin pole up and then same thing I'm going to tie that off being really careful not to let anything slip through with a pair of round turns oh sorry with a pair of half hitches so I've gotten the round turn that was holding the tension during the vector pulls, then the two half hitches, and then finally back into that carabiner. The rest of the power cord that I've got here, I want to get that out of the way. I could use that if I didn't have the foot in something nice and stable, a depression in the rock, then I could use the excess power cord to guide the foot forwards as well. And in fact, guiding the foot forwards is the default preferred setup. So now I've got my system anchor set up, I've got my gin pole set, it's kicked over, it might be standing up just a little bit tall, but that's, again with this low stretch cord, the last thing I'll do with the round turn two half hitches is just set that in place. And now I've got my gin pole set up at an edge with enough edge clearance to get me up and over the edge with a litter. Um, and I've got a system anchor at the back here that I can proceed to operate my two rope lowering system from. So there's the gin pole set up at the edge. We've got our two front pieces over the edge. They this is a climbing area so there happen to be a lot of top rope anchors. We can operate our pulley. We can place a pulley at that top rigging plate. We haven't got the bottom of the gin pole guide just here because it's really well positioned in a depression in the rock. Then we've got our three strands which were the last ones used to tension, tied off with round turn two half hitches after we did the vector pulls at our rigging plate. And then behind that rigging plate, we're going back to our, our two anchor points, one and two. So here's our rear anchor of the system, set with sterling power cord. We've got a rigging plate there. And then if I run forwards, we can see our gin pole set at the edge. We've got the three strands in the back tie coming back to the rigging plate, the two front ties. If we were going to run everything through the, through the gin pole, we'd want another, another connection coming from the head of the gin pole back to the rigging plate here. Uh, with this lightweight system, the preference is that we have one rope elevated through the gin pole and another rope running over the edge over a low friction interface, some edge rollers, something like that, but still happy to run everything off this rear rigging plate.